without this man, we cannot have access to the qira'ah or to the rendition of that person. So let me read for you what this man, how he was described in biographical sources. I have collected, you know, what, what, uh, what we have about all of them, but we don't have time. So Hisham bin Ammar, he is the, the canonical rawi of the, of the Dimashq reading, of the Syrian reading. Um, it says that when he got older, he became senile. And he started to read and recite anything that was given to him. He would repeat and transmit anything people told him without inquiring about its truth. But he was more trustworthy when he was younger. Okay. Now, Hisham transmitted 400 fabricated hadiths. In Arabic, Laysa uh, With all apparently good isnads. A man by the name of Fadlak, his name Fadlak al-Razi probably, used to give these fabricated hadiths to Hisham, who did transmit them, and due to which he almost created a rupture in Islam. Hisham was dictating hadith one day when he was asked, who gave you this hadith? He answered, one of my teachers. When he was asked again, he yawned, closed his eyes, and from, from sleepiness. And Muhammad bin Muslim al-Razi said, I decided to stop narrating hadith of Hisham because he used to sell hadith. Um, Ahmad bin Hanbal, the famous uh, jurist, uh, said Hisham was fickle and frivolous. frivolous. Uh, one day he was sitting in public while his private parts were visible. A man told him, cover yourself. Hisham responded, have you seen it? Uh, God willing, you will never go blind in your life. <laughs> Ibn Hanbal said, one must repeat the prayer if it was led by Hisham. The same comments, uh, we have these kind of derogatory comments in the biographies of the, what we call the canonical readers. And again, the question is, uh, why Muslims uh, still thought it was okay to transmit the Qur'an, which is the most important document, of course, in Islam, uh, why they still trusted Hisham, and why they trusted Hafs, and why they trusted Atham in transmitting the text, and, which is the holy text of Muslims, and they never had problems uh, when it came to basically uh, impugning or cross-examining Hisham as a Qur'an transmitter.